what's up guys and welcome back to another video right into my youtube channel today i'm gonna basically tell you how to fix every kind of starting issue not launching issue in cyberpunk so stick to the end guys this will be a step-by-step -step tutorial in the end you'll probably know what to do in order to fix this issue before we start right into the video i just want to you guys know let you guys know that i would really really appreciate it if you would just leave a like a comment or a subscription right into my youtube channel it'll really make my day and help me out as a little youtuber as i am especially subscribing would be such a big support for me guys you would support my work on youtube a little bit and i'm gonna really really be thankful for that and i'm gonna thank you for that so anyways i would just say let's get right started so as the first step i would recommend doing for everybody is gonna be to open up your task manager by using the shortcut or navigating down to your task by right clicking it and opening up your task manager the next simple uh, thing i want you to do is going to be to navigate to the top left corner of your screen just just ensuring that you're sticking around processes and what I want you to do next is going to be to simply click one of those currently running processes, doesn't really matter which one, and type in C in order to find Cyberpunk. If nothing pops up, it's good for you. If something pops up, simply right click and end the task. Once you're finished, you should be able to end the task manager again. What I want you to do next is going to be really simple. Just take your Steam or your Cyberpunk shortcut on your desktop. And if you don't have it on your desktop, just navigate to the bottom left corner of your screen. Click under the window symbol and use your Windows search function in order to find it. So once you found it, just simply drag it onto your desktop. Let's quickly come back, take your shortcut, right click it and navigate to the bottom where it says properties. Once this tab pops up, simply click onto compatibility and copy my settings. So let's quickly run through it. Compatibility mode enable, run this program in compatibility mode forward, select Windows 8, disable the disable full screen optimizations as well as enable run this program as an administrator. Afterwards, hit apply and OK. I would personally recommend to restart your PC afterwards and once it is restarted, you should be able to see this little administrator symbol right on your shortcut. What I want you to do next is going to be to double click it, just start it and launch it or the launch it or launch your game. Yeah guys, that's it for the video. I hope I could actually help you out with this one. If it was like that, just leave a like, comment or a subscription. I'm going to really be thankful for that. And yeah guys, see you at the next video and bye.